continuing my series of videos around energy efficiency of devices you would find in the home, both when switched on and when switched off, Fujitsu sent me this Esprimo 7935 to try out. Uh, they call it a zero watt PC, along with what they call a zero watt Fujitsu LCD monitor. So they tell me that these devices use zero watts when turned off but still plugged in. Now, so far in any of my tests of other devices, uh, when they're turned off but plugged in, they still draw power. So let's try this one. It's currently unplugged. You can see the power cables from the back there going into a little power strip down here and a power monitor to tell me how much power is being consumed. So if I zoom in on the power monitor for a second, you'll see it's currently reading 0, 0.0 watts, so nothing being consumed there. Let's pull back and I will plug in the power strip and see what happens. So this is the power strip cable plugged in. Nothing happens. The energy monitor reading stays firmly at zero. Just to see it there. So still reading zero. So that's cool. Okay. So if I move back over to the Computer. Try to turn it on. We get green lights, screen lighting up. So now the computer is actually running, which is pretty cool. And as you would expect now, the power consumption data starts to jump. So 70. 80, 83, 90. It will eventually, when it starts up fully, settle in around 86 watts consumption. We pull back a sec. We'll see we're heading into the window screen here. And as it opens up there, it's running Windows Vista. As we zoom back in, We'll see it settles around the 85, 86 watts mark. Previous experience tells me 86 is what it kind of idles at. So first let's check what happens if I tell it to go to sleep. So go over here to the computer, go to the start button and choose the sleep option. And now watch what happens on the power monitor. So you can see the consumption falling off there as it's going to sleep. Down to around 50 at the moment, it'll drop further. It's currently writing stuff to the drive just to remember the state it was in when it was put to sleep. So now it's asleep and the power consumption in sleep is around the 1.7 watts, 1.8 watts, kind of 1.7 average, dropping to 1.6, going up to 1.8 from time to time, but basically averaging your 1.7 watts. And that's respectable enough for a computer asleep. Now if we pull back, go back to the computer again, we'll wake it from its slumber. Consumption on the power meter goes up again as the screen starts to light up. So I'm going to the desktop. It starts to spin up the drives, and again, as expected, power usage jumps back up. As I said, it'll uh, settle around the 86 watts mark. 
peeking there is that starting up services and things like that. So, that's it, being put to sleep and nothing unusual about that. But what happens if I actually shut it down? Fujitsu tell me it'll go to zero. So let's try. Give the shutdown. Said it's shutting down. Eighty-four watts. It's taking a while to shut down for some reason. Okay, screen's gone dark. Down to eleven watts. Oops, up to forty-three, forty-four, and zero. Interesting. It's gone to zero. So they've done it. Fujitsu have created a computer and monitor combination which use zero watts when plugged in and turned off. Gotta say, that's quite impressive. With normal computers, oops, sorry about the jerking. With normal computers, the requirement is to shut off the power at the wall to stop it consuming electricity when it is uh, shut down. Because even when it's shut down, it's still drawing power. So you have to either unplug it or turn off the socket. But with this computer and monitor combination, you can leave it plugged in as long as you shut it down and left plugged in, it still consumes zero watts. So, kudos to Fujitsu about that.